Welcome to the Temple Learning Tool for Phenylketonuria, also known as PKU. Temple, Tools Enabling Metabolic Parents Learning, was developed in partnership with leading healthcare professionals and Nutrition Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with PKU, and we are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby grows and develops just like any other bundle of joy. What is PKU? PKU is an inherited metabolic condition which stands for phenylketonuria. In PKU, the body has trouble breaking down protein which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of smaller units called amino acids. Phenylalanine, or Phi, is one of those amino acids. Our body changes amino acids into other substances, or energy, with the help of enzymes. Think of enzymes like a pair of scissors. How does this relate to PKU? For someone without PKU, the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, or PAH, converts Phi into tyrosine, another amino acid. For someone that has PKU, there is not enough PAH, so only a very small amount of Phi is converted into tyrosine. Since Phi is part of all protein, this makes it difficult to completely break down protein, and it leads to a buildup of Phi in the blood and in the brain. Without proper management, the buildup of Phi over time can cause brain damage, poor development, learning disabilities, and behavioral problems. However, with proper management, the buildup of Phi is controlled to support normal growth and development of your child. PKU is diagnosed with a blood test as part of the newborn screening process. The blood sample is analyzed to measure the level of Phi. How did your child get PKU? PKU is an inherited condition. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent PKU. In children with PKU, the genes that make the enzyme to break down Phi do not work correctly. They inherit one non-working gene from each parent. Parents of children with PKU are carriers or have PKU themselves. Most people don't know they're carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is only a 1 in 4 chance their child will inherit PKU. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. You can manage PKU through your baby's diet and regular blood testing. There are two main components to managing PKU through diet, a fee-restricted diet and a special metabolic formula. Even though fee is dangerous for someone with PKU, it's essential for normal development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means that your baby can only have a small amount of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your child gets older and starts eating regular foods, foods that are high in protein must be avoided since all protein contains phi. Foods containing aspartame should not be consumed. Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and foods with whole protein to feed your baby. As your baby starts to eat solids, your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track and limit fee. In addition to a fee-restricted diet, a special metabolic formula is essential. This special formula does not contain fee, but provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. Your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. PKU Paraflex Early Years is the first PKU infant formula to contain DHA, ARA, and prebiotic fiber. DHA is important for your baby's brain and eye development, while the prebiotic fiber blend supports immune and digestive health. To help add variety into your child's diet, Nutricia offers special low-protein foods, including low-protein fruity cereals, animal pasta, and cake mix. You can also find a wide range of low-protein recipes at medicalfood.com forward slash recipes. You can monitor PKU by completing regular home blood tests that you send to a laboratory for screening. Your metabolic dietitian will contact you with the results and discuss any changes in management. 
For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with PKU. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood tests will be taken to check amino acid and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, and current diet and make adjustments to their diet accordingly. What happens if your baby gets sick? During any illness, our bodies need extra energy to get better, which means breaking down more body protein. This could raise your baby's fee levels. Continue to take the metabolic formula as prescribed and the current diet as much as possible. Mark any blood samples during this time as one that was taken during an illness. As always, speak with your clinician to determine the best course of action. To review, PKU is a serious inherited metabolic disorder. You can manage it with a diet low in fee and a special metabolic formula. Remember to always give the correct amount of fee from breast milk, regular infant formula or whole protein foods, and metabolic formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic. Always have a good supply of non-expired dietary products. Regular blood spot tests are essential so remember to have sufficient testing supplies and to send samples regularly. And remember, when correctly managed, your child can enjoy normal growth and development. Finally, always have the contact details of your metabolic team. To learn more about PKU and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com.